Hey guys, in case you had your way, it's uh, Tom and Bert. We're going to relive for you again. Today we got the Cass Technical School in Detroit, Michigan. This is the former site of, well actually, it's completely demolished now. It's former site, yeah. That's so, right, it's Cass gone. Technical it's school. gone, guys. You can watch other YouTube videos of the actual bulldozers tearing this place down. We'll go ahead and start it now. It's a long video, but we, it, we actually, uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, it was about one-eighth of the way down. Not very much. But it gave us a way in, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, when you... Oh, man. When you... uh, Oh, shoot. Um, we're we'll starting at 14 seconds now. Um, basically, this place we actually just stumbled upon. It was huge. Actually, we realized that Diana Ross, uh, she was actually went to high school here in Detroit. That's right. That's right. Uh-oh, what's oh, in my hand? You got a, oh, this is oh. more... Oh, when we got that ladder from here thinking we were going to use it on Lee Plaza. Yep, almost there goes Bert. That's me almost tripping and falling on this little. Un started, they had already de started demolishing this place. They'd, they'd come in and this was actually standing up, you know, uh, a couple of days ago, but then they came in and been working on it. And we actually, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, we yeah. came this came came to this abandonment over the uh, on a weekend. Yeah, this was Janine. She wanted to do she this. Wanted to, yeah. Do you remember the first room? That we injured, it was freaking oh, out. Yes. So freaked out. We came in through the auditorium in just a theater. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it was pitch dark, so I don't know how good the video will be. But this place, yeah, we, we thought we needed a ladder to get over this big old fence or whatever, but we ended up uh, there it finding is. our own way. Yeah, so it's real dark in here. You guys won't be able to and see much. But. I think the main reason I went in this big building, being in Detroit and all, is because I said, well, People wouldn't be in here because it's being demolished. Now look, I'm freaked out. Look at that guitar. Oh, I like that. That's as we're walking up the we're walking up the aisle. Are you freaked? Here. Yeah. Yeah. We don't get freaked anymore, do we? Because we had to go out in the middle of the open to to walk across to get into this place. I like and there that. There was traffic. The middle of the open. I like that. Middle, middle of the open. Open. Uh, oh, field. Silhouette. That's a good shot of a sil Not an open field, but we basically had to walk across. All this bulldozed brick and cement. Yeah, n n and then we were out in the middle of no in, uh, in the middle. And of guys, nowhere. I know you can't see much, but put yourself in our shoes right here. It is pitch dark except for that flashlight on our heads. Yeah, yeah. You in you, Detroit, Michigan? We even yeah, we even tried to, and we had no idea what this place was. We didn't even know if it was a place for squatters. Uh, we didn't know, you know, if there was any illegal drug activity going on here. Yeah, you never know. Thinking back, this was stupid. <laughs> yeah. But we said we got to get it for the K fans. This is filmed on my cell phone. That's why the uh, video is horrible. Um, sorry about that. But it was still HD on your phone, wasn't it? Yeah, well HD for the phone at the time that I had. Um, 3G. Now we're walking through the school. Looks like we're that was a classroom. That's a good shot. Yeah. I think once we get up to where there's more light, we're on the lower floors, floors right now. Mm -hmm. um, Diana Ross and somebody else, I forget. That was that went to school there. Yeah, um, there are some other folks. You can look them up on uh, Google. Um, or oh, wait, no, some names. I forgot about okay. this. Oh, did you see some? Uh, this is the classroom. One of the classrooms, oh, yeah, the chairs desk and everything and is on here. I did forget about this. Oh, that there, there is a cool basketball gym in here. I think too. Was there? Yeah. Might have, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we've been in our fair amount of fair share of schools, but this school was huge. Huge. I mean, it's like five floors, wasn't it? Yeah, abstract. Abstract. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of floors in this one. It was a big school. I think it. I think it was a. It actually they moved the. Uh, they moved this school to an like people that were going here. You know, they said they were going to demolish it, and then they built another. School, the school that's actually right directly wow. next to. That's exactly what I was about oh, to say. Okay. The new school was actually, was it in, was this during the weekend, you say, or the week? I thought it was during the week, but maybe not. Because I thought something was going on over there. I don't know. They might have had some sort of like band practice or football practice or something because we could hear noises. But the, yeah, I mean, the school was directly across the street, the new one. And then this one, they, I guess they were saying, yeah, we don't have any room for it anymore. We're just going to demolish it. Bert, you, you think back. You must have really trusted me back then because uh, if somebody was messing with you, uh, you know, I had you back, but surely you wouldn't go in here by yourself, would you? No, heck no. Would you? What about you, just you and Janine? I know I wouldn't just me and Janine in Detroit. Yeah, not not Detroit. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do this. Because the myself. whole time I'm thinking I've got another uh, pretty strong guy with me, you know? Yeah, well, we knew that if we saw anybody, we'd be running regardless. We'd... We wouldn't 
I mean, well, no, you had like your. I remember this trip. We we thought everybody was going to be attacking us, so we had you had yeah. weapons galore, chains to, you know, a, a, a big old PVC pipe or a, a tire iron. Now, of a scale one to ten, I think that we probably explored about three, three out of ten. We didn't go on every. I mean, we went on every floor, like going up the steps and stuff. But hey, right here, do you remember we're going to get a shot and we're going to stand right out there where? It's open. It's open. Yeah. The, the, the crane had come in and, mm -hmm. and oh, but, but whatever you call that. The wrecking ball. The wrecking ball, yeah. Floor two. You can see people come in here and tag the heck out of this place, too. And when I looked down the hallway like that, it was freaky to me. It was like, oh. Yeah, something about like when one of the things that's so cool about abandonments is when you walk in and you see these long, I feel like every abandonment almost has one. You walk in and there's this long, long corridor or yeah. hallway and you see, all you see is a little bit of light at the end of it. Um, and it's just very dark and it looks like it goes and, on for ages. And you just know there's somebody down there. <laughs> yeah, you just know that there's a ghost. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's just kind of cool to see you walk up and you look down to the left or the right and you see a long hallway like this and you just, that's not that long of a hallway, but sometimes they're really long yeah. and you just why, why don't you talk about ghosts anymore like you used to in Ohio in Detroit? Well, I guess it's, I'm, I got tired of, uh, I got, yeah, I got tired of, uh, you know, reading all this stuff, but not really seeing anything. You know, I'm a believer. I really am. You, you, you're still a believer I, today? Yeah, I believe in paranormal activity, but I, and, and, you know, ghosts and stuff like that. But, you know, I've never had any personal experience with them and we haven't in our abandonments. I guess, you know, we've done, we've done a lot of our abandonments in the early morning or at night or never at night, you know, so I don't know they say that that's when you're supposed to do it, but. I feel like ghosts don't really sleep anyway. Yeah, so I was, that was the Fonz. I'm sorry. The Fonz. Oh, little the sticker. sticker yeah. Little sticker. Yep. Here we are. Just we're just hitting all the. Big oh, that spots. was that fence. So I thought that was something in, in the, the video. video. Yeah. No, no. You can't actually hear the video, can you? No. Guys, if you want to go back and watch the video, this is called Cass C A S S. I don't know what Cass stood for. Yeah, it stands for something. It, it says a Cass Technical School. And it's demolished now. I don't know why they demolished it. I think oh. it's because they already have, you know, they have the, it would take too much to rebuild and they have the, um, yeah, they have a school right across from, right across the street from it. Was they asbestos in this one too? You think? Probably, probably. You know, back then, Bert wasn't thinking much about asbestos and once he, uh, you know, Janine started wearing the mask and, uh, when did she start wearing the buff? Was it after Ohio? Cause might, she, yeah, might have been. She really, st I think she started, Coming back home from these trips and Googling stuff and really got kind of paranoid about yeah germaphobe, you know, kind of. Well, to, to this day, I feel like I get a lot of, uh, because I've been in these abandonments, I know that they say that you have to have a long-term uh, long exposure to asbestos to have any sort of respiratory illness or cancer or any sort of disease in your lungs. But I feel like, I feel like from going on Detroit and going on Ohio, a lot of these places we went into had asbestos in it. And... I, after that, that whole, I think we went in June was our first month that we ever did abandonments. And, you know, we did Detroit, we did Ohio. And then that whole rest of the year, probably from about September to, to, to December when I was in school, I was always sick, respiratory wise. Really? Throw would always get heart, heart sore. Oh, God, here's time about to say something. Burn down the long term. We done did over 200 abandonments. He don't realize. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, but I mean, I'm talking about long term experience. Like, if we were to be in that. Oh, environment right, right, working right, there right. all day, every day, like these people. And we're, we're not stirring up stuff, uh, stirring up the, the particles in the... No, we're not directly stepping on asbestos, you know, but like some of the... If it was got in the mold or if there was any sort of thing that we stepped on and, and it made it airborne, we could have breathed it in, but... Tell me what you told me and the K-Fans one time about you, you made it... Oh, that's a good shot right there. Yeah, you made it go. rhyme with asbestos. It's the best. It gets the best of us. Yeah, <laughs> that is a great shot right there. Oh, uh, what's that first step? And it's it's a doozy. We say that a lot. Yeah. Um, that is a great shot. And guys, I didn't know I had such a good uh, photographer. If we had a, hey, let's see if we see David Broderick. Oh. Uh, but um. Whoa, three hundred and sixty. Oh, there, there it is. I'm gonna do a little commentary. I used to be the only one to do the commentary because uh, Janine and and Bert used to be shy. And, uh, you know, of course, Burke come out of his shell. So, yeah, it took me a while. I had to get used to, you know, breaking the law a bunch. I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's an elevator right there. Yes. Oh, motor. Yeah. Yeah. With my chain and my... Oh, my man bag looked new back then. Well, guys, that was in the Cast Tech, 
technical school. Was and it really? Wow. We thank you for watching, and if you made it to the end, you are a true Decay fan, and we love you. We do. We appreciate every every comment, every yeah. And guys, you just real quick, we've tried to branch out from Decay Hedge away a little bit with improvisation and with some jokes and some commercials, and I don't know. Just tell us what you think, even even if it's negative and you don't like it. You can say something and, and not be, you know, crude. Just tell us, yeah, that's not. We like the decay. You know, we don't really like this. Just be honest. If you love it, say, hey, we want to see more. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, we're always looking for ideas, and you know, we can only think so much. We only got two brains, but with two hundred viewers, I would think, you know, maybe you guys, if you had anything you'd like us to do, let us know. Yeah. Thanks so, for watching. Thanks for watching. The case had Joey.